Our top story, the health condition of former Chief Minister of the Indian State of Tamil Nadu and DMK Party's patriarch M. Karunanidhi continues to be stable. The Kaveri Hospital in Chennai, where the first time Tamil Nadu Chief Minister is undergoing treatment for low blood pressure, said his vital stats are improving after a transient setback. However, Karunanidhi remains in the intensive care unit. The hospital also said that the 94-year-old veteran politician is being monitored by doctors. Thousands of supporters have gathered outside the Kaveri Hospital in Chennai. There are reports that the carders were getting impatient outside the hospital. There are traffic restrictions in place in view of the massive gathering. And joining me live from Chennai is a Siddharth MP. He's reporting for us, getting us live updates from Chennai on the health of Karuna Nidhi. Siddharth, uh, yesterday his son MK Stalin had said that there was an unexpected setback in his health, but uh, he's doing better now. What details do we have on his recovery? Yes, the latest update that we received was last evening, late last evening at about 10 p.m. where the hospital issued an official statement saying that there was a sudden dip in his health condition but then he's being provided expert medical care round the clock and then after that uh, brief, after that brief uh, illness, he's again back to normal they say and then they're saying his vital signs are now close to normal. Right, uh, Siddharth, we know that huge crowds have gathered outside the hospital showing concerns over Karuna Nidhi's health. Now some party workers try to break the cordon to meet Karunanidhi. Is the situation under control right now and what are the security arrangements? Yes, right now things seem under control but however there are a lot of party carder, about several hundreds of them who are gathered here uh, waiting to actually meet their party leader and to understand what is his health status. But the situation was much worse last night when several thousands of party carder were gathered here and they tried to break the cordon and there was a mild skirmish that they had with the police. So last night the crowds were uh, not so much under control but now things seem to be under control because there's a large posse of policemen gathered here and all of them are trying to control the crowd. And since this also happens to be an arterial stretch of road which is very close to the Marina Beach, it uh, is also quite likely that today the crowds will be much lesser as there are several cordons around this location. Right, Siddharth. Also, of course, Karuna Nidhi is a big name in Tamil Nadu politics and the DMK will try to ensure his legacy continues. So what is the plan for the future? Well, uh, the future plan, anyway, uh, DMK's M. Karuna Nidhi, although he is India's senior most politician, he has been uh, wheelchair ridden for the last 3-4 years, which has meant that he is totally outside of active politics. And the working president of the party, that is his son M.K. Stalin, has been taking the lead in all party-related activities. But again, this is a huge setback for the DMK as well as Tamil Nadu because it was only in uh, 2016 that uh, J. Jayalalitha, the sitting chief minister, had expired. And this also means that it is almost the coming to an end of the Dravidian era of politics. And then the experienced and the veteran leaders of Tamil Nadu are slowly going out of active politics. Right, Siddharth, thank you for joining us live. Uh, Siddharth, MP there, uh, joining us live from Chennai, getting us the latest updates on the health of uh, DMK patriarch Karunanadi. And we'll be tracking that story very closely as it develops further.